Hello everyone! Today we're here in one of the most beautiful places of Istanbul and of course one of my favorite ones and I'm talking about the Galata Tower. A couple of months ago this place was closed to public because it was under restoration but just recently it was opened once again so this time we will show you what the Galata Tower looks like after these restorations. We will be giving you all the important information before you plan on visiting it. If you are staying around Sultanahmet area, just take the tram to Kavatash direction and get off in Karakoy station. Cross the main road and take the tunnel funicular, which by the way is the second oldest underground transport in the world, just after the one in London. Follow the signals towards the tower. Enjoy this street, which has many little shops where you can buy clothes, souvenirs, and much more. The tower was built in the year 528 by the Byzantine Emperor Anastasius and served as a lighthouse. Many centuries later, it was taken by the Genoese in 1348, and ever since the tower has passed through many restorations and upgrades. During the Ottoman Empire, the prisoners of war were kept here, then it became an observatory and later on a fire tower. The tower is one of the oldest ones in the world and took many centuries to obtain its present appearance. The entrance fee for the Galata Tower is 30 liras per person and the museum Pass Istanbul is now accepted. Before admiring the views from the highest part of the tower, take a look into the exhibitions and maps about Istanbul. The Galata Tower will be the place which will offer you amazing and stunning views from all the city, basically 360 degrees and as you can see we can even see the Asian side. If you want to see some of the best views of this amazing city, definitely you have to come up here. Also there is a legend that back in the days during the Ottoman Empire there was one person called Ahmed Chelebi and apparently he built uh, during some time he built some wings and later on he flew from this point from the top of the Galata Tower and he landed on the other side of the Bosphorus that being said Uskudar which is 
over there. In the lower levels, we can enjoy other exhibitions with artifacts from ancient civilizations. Now a souvenir shop can also be found. The Galata Tower can be seen from many points of the city. For example, here, 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 and even here. Don't miss the chance to walk through its picturesque streets and choose a nice cafe to rest at before continuing with your itinerary. After walking around and inside the Galata Tower, we decided to look for a nice cozy place to, to have something to eat. Either a breakfast or just some pastry or just something sweet. Here around the Galata Tower you will find very nice and cozy places just to sit, enjoy the views. And even if it's, if it's summer you will find many terraces and restaurants which will give you amazing views from the Galata Tower. If not, you can find many uh, little cafes in the in the nearby streets. In our case, we have we have come to this one, which is quite famous, and we will be leaving the link of the exact location in the description box. It is really nice. Uh, we had a good breakfast, a, a good apple pie, and you can do that after walking around this area. You will definitely enjoy it. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video about the Galata Tower. If you want to keep receiving more tips and recommendations about Turkey and especially Istanbul, then don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Post